let love radiate without concern for results. Do you think that might have had something to do with what it takes for you or for, for me or for all of us together to be spiritual lightning rods bringing a powerful current into our world? That current moves through human heart and mind and through our collective energy field. Our current, for the most part, as far as I know, isn't lighting the lights, right? It's not for that. It's not running your car or keeping your house warm, though our body heat helps. That current is moving in the field of thought and feeling that we know for ourselves and that, and that we share with others. Ultimately, it's a field that all of humankind shares. And something happens when lightning comes into that field. As we are noting, just as sand changes, it's transformed when there's a charge that comes into it. Human consciousness changes when there's a charge that comes into it. Our consciousness changes when that happens for ourselves. And when we're a conduit of charge into human consciousness around us with other people in community, in the world, it cannot help but transmute human consciousness. It takes some conscious attention and conscious work or it doesn't happen. <clears throat> if we're wavering all over the place, right? Like one moment inspired to offer something creative, some creative current, and the next not. Do you think transmutation is going to happen for us or for the field that we're in? Not so much. If there's a lot of static on the line in our energetic charge, if we're full of static, and we're bringing static to other people. Do, do we think we're a, um, a cause of creative trans, transmutation for another person? Not really. 